Check down, I'ma tell you what my mama has said. She like, I can spot you a mile away. I can see your insecurities written all on your face. So predictable your words. I know what you're gonna say. No, you're fooling or you are so many what's up y'all we got another video i'm installing these clip-ins from curls queen of course they came with uh this package and it, dang this going fast y'all i'm sorry y'all know what come with it these the clip-ins right here i got two bundles okay so first thing i'm gonna do is apologize for this audio it's not my usual quality but y'all are moving i don't know where nothing is at okay I don't know where nothing's at, but, and, and I'm also moving in this video, which is why I'm washing these clip-ins with dish soap. You know what I'm saying? I, I prefer to wash my clip-ins before because, you know, I mean, you don't have to wash them, but I think that when it comes to like the curl and things like that, I don't know. I just prefer to wash them. So here I am using loads of dish soap to wash the clip-ins. But yeah, y'all, I'm moving. I can't find no cords. <sighs> Honestly, these clippings were, were, I wish they would have sent me these clippings a long time ago because they were so convenient during the move. I literally, I literally wore them the whole move. And like, it was so low maintenance. Like I needed to refresh them like every three days. But other than that, babes, I think this is, okay, I'm not even going to try to guess the inch, y'all, but I'll put the I'll put everything in the description box for y'all. Okay, so I just wring those out, get all that water out of there. And then we start off with my ponytail. My purple scarf was packed up. Y'all know I love my purple scarf. And I'm on the phone running my mouth, so ignore that. Um, we're gonna start off with freshly washed hair and a fro that I'm pretty sure is air dried. Yeah. Shake it up. A little for appreciation real quick. You know what I'm saying? She's flourishing or whatever. Now I get my right tail comb. I'm going to go ahead and split this down to bake. Okay? That right down the middle. And then uh, I'm going to section off my hair. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. A little section. And I'm going to do a little part in the front. We're going to pull out this perimeter. You can pull out your whole perimeter if you want to. But I feel like my hair is so thick when it comes to these clip-ins. If you have thick hair, the only way to really wear them is when you braid your hair all the way down and you leave like a little bit of leave out. Because like trying to stack them with your hair, I don't know, like if you just got a lot of hair, it's probably best not to just add more hair. You're just going to have an insane amount of hair. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, braiding my hair all the way up and just having like a little slither of leave out, this works really well. Yeah, little Jack's break, my sweet boy. And one side of my hair is already braided. I think that's like what, five dookie braids? One, two, three, four. Yeah, like five of them. And now we got the whole head braided. All right, so I'm just going to put this in a ponytail, right? And then I'm going to take the tails of it, and I'm going to tuck it in to the ponytail like a, like a Swiss roll. You feel me? Now, if I had my needle and thread, I would have took out my needle and thread, and I would have, you know what I'm saying? did that but no I didn't so now I'm just starting with the clips like this is like the five clip one and um, I just fit them you know where they go but I will say the quality of these clippings are like so much better than the ones that have like the actual track weft showing I don't know it's something about that flat piece if we can make that flat piece matte y'all we really be cooking with grease um you know just in case something start try to show through, you know what I'm saying? It won't shiny. I don't know if y'all we gotta talk to somebody about that, but yeah. I just get to piecing them together. And honestly, I could have like only used one. I didn't have to use two, but using two made it like really, really full. Um, but I really definitely could have used only half and uh, um I could have achieved like the same look, it just wouldn't have been as full. 
but I'm not gonna lie, like, the end result, it just gives, like, Tumblr girl, you know what I'm saying? So, I won't mad at it, because, like I said, it was given, it was given Tumblr. Now, I did slick some product on these clip ends, just to, like, define the curls a little bit. I want to say I just used some Wet Line Extreme Gel, um, on them. And then I think I just placed these all right, like all on the front braid. These are my, yeah. So right when I get to the front braid, I just place it right in front of the braid. Okay. How many more pieces we got to go? I was just piling them bad boys on there, huh? Now, what am I doing with this for? Oh, okay. All right. I felt, okay. I'm putting it on the back. All right. Because I'm like, girl, you ain't got no space up there. I guess I'm like clipping out underneath. There we go. As if I needed more hair back there. <laughs> okay, y'all. We still clipping. Y'all, when I say these clippings were so convenient during this move, oh my gosh. I mean, literally, if I had my scarf, it would have lasted way longer, but them movers would have packed a bag of trash if I let them, all right? They would have packed, they would have packed my leftovers, okay, that was sitting out on the counter. <laughs> they packed everything. And you know, like, I just forgot to take it out. But you know, like, yo, I didn't forget my bonnet, but I just forgot my scarf. Anyways, I'm going to take out these braids, perimeter braids right here. And like I said, this is just dry hair. Y'all know, y'all know I love this mixture right here. I need some more. Um, just taking my Got To Be, got to be Glue um, Black Gel and my Free Spray. I'm going to mix that together. I'm going to make my little concoction there. And the reason why I like to use the concoction to make my hair just whole is because it blends so much better. Like, these curls are, like, bulletproof. <laughs> um, so, like, they're just not going to go anywhere. They're not going to get frizzy. Um, I really don't think humidity can, like, you know, infiltrate it. I, I just think that, like, this mixture right here... This is what's going to make it like, this is how it blends so well. Because these curls, they don't get frizzy. Like, they don't do nothing. They just stay. So, I'm wiping the makeup off my forehead. And then I'm going to go through and do my baby hairs. So, I use a mixture on my baby hairs also. Now, while I am, like, doing this, if you want your hair, like, because this is like a flip over method type of thing. So if you want your hair to flip over like to the right, try to like brush, you know what I'm saying, the part that you left out, the perimeter part, like, you know what I'm saying, make brush that like to the side that you want it to be on. So like, it's not just like straight back and then like you flip over the hair. You get what I'm saying? Dang, I'm probably gonna be here for a while, huh? Yeah, a little minute, it's okay. I'll just let y'all watch me do these baby hairs. It's really an art. I don't think nobody can. I think I'm going to be doing these baby hairs like this until I'm 75 years old. I don't ever think I'm going to change the way. As long as I got these baby hairs, I'm going to do them like this every single time. I don't see. I'm Because I've entered like my grown woman. You know what I'm saying? And so like I got my grown woman body. I got my grown woman, you know, clothes. I got my grown woman nails. I keep my nails short, French tip. I got my grown woman lashes. Like these are just my grown woman baby hairs. You feel me? We're going to hit that with the cool, with the Dyson Supersonic. Okay? Need the Dyson Supersonic. If you don't got that, you got to get that. But you got to hit it with cool, and that's just going to seal everything in a place, baby. Don't, that, it's not going to go anywhere. All right? Take that out. Little test. Okay? I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You see what I said about, like, the flip-over method? Like, just... I had to wet it again. 
and like try to like curve it. I don't know how to describe that, y'all, but y'all see what I'm doing. I'm trying to twist it. No? Okay. <laughs> some more of that mixture and then we're gonna hit that thing with the blow dryer again now when you take these out it will be like kind of stuck to the clipping so you're gonna have to wet it to take it out um but that's a good thing that it's stuck to the clipping in because i'd rather be attached than not attached you feel me i hope y'all feel me <laughs> keep saying that a lot i wonder what i'm talking about I had to get this video up to y'all because it's been too long, y'all. It's been too long. Like, I've been trying to move, like, trying to do this video, like, right in between the move. Like, it's been so stressful. But everybody was asking, like, what's the details on the hair? And, like, it's been, like, seven days. <laughs> no, I ain't been that long. It's been, like, five. Not me stopping to talk. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit more wet line extreme on there. And uh, I want to say that this is the finished result, y'all. Y'all can't tell me this does not eat all the way down, baby. And I didn't want to cut the clip ends because I just want to be able to use them if you cut them. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't cut them and I still achieved a bomb look. Like, come on now. Come on now. I'll put everything in the description box for y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. Enjoy these slow-mos. Peace out. Coming in with your homie, but your level of realness ain't the same. Circus acts only attract those that entertain. Small talk, we know that it's all talk. We live in the laugh factory every time they mention your name. Ask where the hoes at to impress me. Ask where the money bags to impress me. Say you got the burning stash to impress me. It's all in the end, homie. Ask where the plug got to impress me. Ask where the jug got to impress me. Ask where it's at only upsets me. You sound like the feds on me. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta try so hard. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie. You ain't gotta lie to kick in my neck. You ain't gotta try so hard. And the world don't respect you, and the culture don't accept you, but you think it's all love. And the girls gonna neglect you, 